In this video, I'm gonna show you just how easy it is to replace an outlet with this new style outlet. Not only that, but I'm gonna show you reasons why this is so much safer to have in your home versus the traditional one that you'll see that has the exposed metal and the dangers that are involved there. I'm gonna also show you some other general tips, so make sure you watch the whole video. So let's get right into it. All right, so here's the outlet that we're going to be replacing. Now, first of all, we can see a few things. One, it doesn't have a cover, and for obvious reasons, this outlet is pushed too far into the wall. So we're gonna show you how we're gonna remedy this while simultaneously replacing this outlet. So the first thing that we wanna do is we're going to use a hot pen. As you can see, it's live right now. We're gonna kill power to this outlet, and then we'll check it again and make sure that we don't have power. All right, so now that the breaker is turned off, we're just going to verify there's no power here. And let's go ahead and start by removing our outlet. So the first thing that we notice here is that this wire is stripped quite a bit back. Um, thankfully, it's going the right rotation, but we'll discuss that in a few minutes. Um, this has the potential to touch possibly one of these ground wires. So, as a general rule of thumb, you don't want to have your wires exposed that much. You want the insulation to go right up to that screw, not under it, but not too much. So let's go ahead and start by removing all of our wiring here. These screws do not matter. Okay, so now that we have our outlet off, we're just gonna discuss this a little bit. So our white is always going to be the neutral wire. Black is always going to be your hot leg. So power will come in through this wire and it will return through the neutral path. And then you obviously have your ground here as a fail safe. So our ground is always gonna be our green terminal. And that's the nice part about this. Some outlets were kind of confusing the black or the hot side was always bronze and the neutral side was silver. But with these new outlets, they are black and white. So they're very easy to install, really hard to mess this up. Now, as you can see on this outlet, um, if you ever used a Wago lever nut, this is a similar process. You simply open it, slide your wire in, snap it uh, locked, and that is literally it. You have nothing exposed so this is a much safer method than this outlet, where as you could see, all of this was exposed in that box. So if anything were to get shorted here, being as so much is exposed, you could uh, trip a breaker, you could potentially heat this up and actually start a fire. You also have uh, danger when it comes to children um, being around the outlets. Whereas this outlet is awesome in that there's nothing exposed on the side. It also has these safety mechanisms, so most foreign objects are not gonna be able to shove inside of these and potentially electrocute someone. These are about three bucks and 50 cents, whereas you can get these cheapies for probably about a dollar, but this is definitely a worthwhile upgrade um, to do in your home. So with that being said, let's go ahead and set up these wires so we can install our outlet. So we're just going to take this loop out as we don't need this and we're just gonna start fresh. And a feature that you'll note is right here on the corner of this outlet, we have a depth gauge. So you know how much of this wire that you need to strip off. So we simply push it up to that point there. We're going to mark it. And then we know how far to strip to where nothing is exposed on the back side. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and strip this back. All right, so let's start with our ground wire, being as that's the longest. We're just going to open this lever. We're gonna slide it all the way in. Lock it in, and that is good and secure. I'm pulling on that pretty hard and it's not going anywhere. Next, let's start with our black wires here. We're just gonna use the end of these um, strippers just to hold this in place. We're gonna slide it in until we can't see any wires exposed. Lock it in and that's it. So we're gonna take this one, just put it in until that wire is not showing any metal. 
and that is it. All right, so all of our wires are in. As you can see, there is no metal exposed anywhere on this. So um, a lot of times when I'm installing a regular outlet like this, I recommend wrapping this with electrical tape afterwards. Um, with this, you don't even have to worry about it. It's good to go. All right, so before we button this up, um, I wanted to show you one last thing, and it's these spacers. Now you can find these at Home Depot or Lowe's, but basically they just snap together. And the whole idea here is that you can space out if your box is too far in, if they didn't set it right, you can get it just right to where everything is nice and flush. Then once you have enough of them snapped together, you can pop it off and then you can simply slide it onto this and it's not going to fall off. It's got just the, the right size hole here to where you can slide it over the screw and you don't have to worry about it falling off. So we're gonna do the same for this side. We're just gonna pop three of these off and we're gonna put it on our bottom screw here. And now we're ready to go ahead and install our outlet. Now, something that people have asked all the time is which direction should we rotate our outlet like this or like this? So NEC code does not say anything about whether or not you should have your outlets with a prong up or down. But a couple of things that I um, have noticed myself is number one, if you have this rotated this way and say this plug gets a little bit loose and pulls out just slightly to where some of this is exposed, um, you could potentially have an opportunity for something metal to land and short these two hot leads. Whereas if you have it like this and it eventually gets loose like this, you have an extra layer of protection. If something hits that, it's not going to create a short, a spark or trip your breaker. Now, in addition to that, you'll notice that the ground prong is longer than the rest of the prongs here. So in my opinion, I think having the ground prong on top is an extra layer of protection, keeping it from falling out as well, instead of doing it this way. And there you have it, folks. Last thing we gotta do is slap our outlet cover on and this outlet replacement is complete. Well guys, it's as easy as that to replace an outlet. Now I'm not sure if you're familiar with my background. If you're new to the channel, my name is Dave and I used to be a general contractor. I'm currently an HVAC contractor slash content creator, but a lot of my background involves things like electrical, plumbing, as well as HVAC. So I really want to expand on the videos that are in our channel. Now, if you appreciate electrical and plumbing videos, in addition to the HVAC content we already have, let me know in the comments below. I truly appreciate you guys' feedback and support. Now, if you're interested in other DIY electrical content, check out these two videos, and I hope you can find one of those beneficial. Until next time, you guys be safe. Later.